Now from Grand Rapids on complaints of racial profiling against the city's police department. Legal advocates filed formal complaints today to the Michigan Department of Civil Rights regarding two recent cases involving people of Latino descent. 13 on your sides, Emma Nicholas joins us now from GRPD's headquarters with the very latest. Emma. Nick, last Friday, Grand Rapids Police reinstated Captain Kurt Vanderkoy after he'd been on administrative leave since February 28th. Now, this time allowed for the Internal Affairs Unit to investigate if Captain Kurt Vanderkoy had used impartial policing by contacting ICE back when he contacted them regarding Hilmo Ramos Gomez. Now, what really came to light with this investigation is dozens of emails between ICE agents and Captain Vanderkoy. And in their internal affairs report, GRPD wrote more than half of the correspondences were initiated by ICE agents and that when Vanderkoy had initiated a referral or inquiry, it had been justified. The attorneys say this still contradicts GRPD's initial claim that ICE was not routinely contacted by their department. We, we FOIA'd only the last two years, and we have almost 89 instances of back and forth between Captain Vanderkoy and Immigration and Customs Enforcement. There's just a free flow of information in all kinds of cases, um, not, not just exceptional circumstances, as the GRPD had, had previously stated. Now, the ACLU and MIRC have appealed this exoneration of Captain Vanderkoy, and they'll go before the appeals board next month. And we'll have more on that second incident that is bringing advocates to call for another investigation coming up at 6. Nick and Juliet, I'll send it back to you.